everyone, Mr. Merkid here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to send a file to somebody on Skype. Uh, within the API, there's not really a method to send files, um, and it's kind of requested a lot, and I see it a few times in my previous video in the comments, so I thought I might as well just get it over and done with. Again, keep the comments coming in, because uh, it's easier for me to create content that I know you want to see, and, and like in comparison to me making stuff that you probably don't want to see. So. The comments are a good way. Um, so yeah, let's get started with this. Basically, what we're going to do is be using uh, send keys, which is uh, I'll explain as we go along. So we just want a button because we're going to use an open file dialog, so we can select the file you want to send, and that will this button will do that. So we can just say choose file. We also want one more button to actually send the file. Really make that, and you could you could use a text box to select the person you want it to, but I'm not going to be showing that. And just as an example, so you understand how this works, I'm going to pull a label out and um, show you that. So we want to choose the file. So let's quickly get the open file dialog out of the way. We can just call this dim. We'll say choose file is equal to a new open file dialog we can say if choose file dot show dialog is equal to ok then what we want to do is put our label which the newest one seems to be 16 dot text and that will be equal to choose file dot file name so now our label is going to store the location of the file that you just selected and I'm only using the label because you can see that it will be displayed but if you didn't want to have the label you can just have like a I'll show you what I mean you can say dim location as a string and then here you could say uh, loc is equal to choose file dot file name and then you that you wouldn't need to display it on your GUI you'll just use uh, location to when you send it, so, but I'll just remove that and we'll keep it as the label for now. So now we actually want to send the file. To do that, like I said at the start, there's not actually methods within Skype, but if we use skype.client and you'll see here that there's many open dialogues, there's even a file transfer dialog, but you'll see this requires the username you want to send it to and the folder. So that actually only opens up the folder it doesn't actually select the file but I guess you could use send keys to select the file or something like that so I guess that method could work but the way I'm going to be showing you is different we're going to be using the uh, message dialog but you see there's a lot of um, different dialogues within this part of the client we'll use the message dialog and what that requires is a username and where I said you can have the text box you'll just put text box text here for the username but I just want to send it to my um, test account, so I'll just put that username here. Uh, Choose and Skype bot. And then after we've selected who we're sending to, we want to say Skype dot client dot focus. And what that will do is it will actually bring Skype up like that. So we could be on a different tab or a different program, but Skype would appear as soon as focus is called. And we need to do that because as we're using send keys it's going to work on the page uh, send keys we want the buttons to work on Skype not another program within our PC so now we can actually call the send keys we can say send keys dot send and then we're going to use uh, plus the up arrow and in brackets a capital F uh, we're going to have more but just as an example I want to show you what this will do is it will bring up a file dialog on this page of this chat so I'll show you what I mean if we let this load up if we quickly select that so we choose the file first I created a test file and you can see that the location of the file is stored here so if I press send file now it will show me Skype the, the specific chat which we entered the username and you see it's brought up this uh, send file to choose and Skype but up here it's got it's basically a file selector 
and now what we want to do is you see the file names empty so what we want to send here in this little text box there is we want to send to it this piece of text uh, so if we leave a space between the bracket and the co uh, the speech mark there and press plus and we can just send to it label 16.txt now the way I showed you earlier with the location uh, string you could put location here but for this purpose I'm just using the label so let me launch it up again and I'll show you that now it should open that file dialog but it should actually send or select if I choose the file press OK and send the file it's opened up the dialog again and you see now it's it's actually pasted the location of the file we selected and now with that we could press OK but we don't want to do that uh, manually we want it to happen on itself so now we just want to send one more final piece of uh, code and that is to press that OK button that you just saw so now we just need to tell it press the, press OK so we can say plus and the final one is uh, we can use percent and then in brackets again we want to use uh, I believe it's zero or it possibly could be O actually I'm, I'm not let me try O uh, okay let's try that it's zero or O, I could have got slightly confused with that. So if we go to this tab, choose our file, press OK, we'll send it. And you'll see that was instant, that dialog shown up. It selected our file and it sent it. So um, I could open that up and you'll see it's just test, it's the file on my desktop. Um, so you can do that with any sort of file. Uh, so that is it working. I'll just show you for if you want to see that code again. So what that does is it it basically send keys stimulates clicks within your PC. So it's basically like you're typing on your keyboard, but you're actually not. So as there's not sort of a actual file sending method, I've I come up with this. Um, someone suggested the send keys part, which gave me the idea to get it working. So here we are. So again, um, well, I'll show you before I quickly go for the people that might be sort of completely new to this. You have the text box here, which is text box 41, and you'd remove the username I put here and just put text box 41.txt. And now you can enter the username you want to send to up here, and then it will send it. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this video. Remember, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time.